now that we had a successful closing of uh, 2020, uh, at the end, probably you were just curious uh, when we mentioned that we can just undo, right? Like, what is the process? Or do we need to run another one? No. Actually, we have discussed about the OAAQ transaction. Uh, it has been replaced with this one. So let's just go for it. Let's uh, show how can we open again. Uh, close here so we, how can we undo the closing it's uh, of course using the same one actually that's the reason we call it okay, execute or undo so double click and now uh, if we uh, switch between display and change what uh, we can do is select this um, depreciation areas and let's click reopen see what happens so as you can see uh, everything is correct the closed fiscal year now is set up correctly to 2019 so that means we could start uh, just having some postings in 2020 again and let's see what happens if we try for 2L the local gap ledger so again uh, right now 2020 let's reopen and that's it. Uh, also successful, of course. So this is the process. It's very similar. I mean, like you can just compare them. The only difference is we click a different icon here, a different push button. But pretty much they are the same. We can save. And with this, uh, well, we are just finishing another lesson. Just, just out of curiosity, there a bit 